Hey guys, and uh, welcome back to the garage. In today's video, we're going to continue with the throttle body rebuild on the pickup truck. Um, so, let's get started with episode two. Uh, we're going to, basically, I've got everything already cleaned up. I got all the surfaces nice and shiny. Chem dipped them. This is just, it's sitting on here. I wanted to uh, test fit some things. You notice it fits, right? But you can't adjust it because there's no hole. So we're going to have to drill a hole first uh, before we start putting any of this together. So, wish me luck. Well, that turned out pretty good. Damn near perfect. All right, so I've got a battery with the two wires, my fuel injector. I went and got a rubber valve stem core. Took the actual uh, valve out of the center of it. Attached one of those adapters there that threaded right on the side. It's like a blower adapter. The air gun adapter stuck the straw right in the middle of it there flared out the straw just a little bit with the lighter so it uh, expanded and wedged into place it works all right the rubber end here stretches quite a bit to go over that the uh, I got this from a video on YouTube the only difference is I have a very different injector than what uh, everyone else has but um, so I'm going to have to do it backwards. Those large holes there you see are the inlet. There's three of them. Um, and then the outlet, the tip is inside going, you know, going downward up the straw. That's actually the outlet. So the only way I can test this that I could think of is just backwards, but it still works. I'm going to press on it. And uh, that's the best I can do. Now I'll clean the other one. Okay, the injectors are clean. And I've got the parts that I'm going to need laid out. I just pulled out uh, the same pieces that came off of it. But we won't be using all of those. We'll be using the base gasket. And we definitely won't be using this guy. This is some sort of fiber composite. It, w it feels like, you know, you could, it would smash over time. But this one, 
This is a plastic, like a a jet injection mold or something. But I cleaned it up. It had a couple nipples like that one there. Um, but that one's not in the way at all. There was one up here that was in the way. <clears throat> so those are the pieces I'll be putting on. Um, I'm ready to start putting it back together. All right, got the spacer on. It came with Allen heads instead of the Torx bits. Um, and it went on pretty smoothly. It was a tight fit, but better than a loose fit, I guess. But it went on pretty well. So now we're gonna put the filters on the injectors. And I'm using this socket here, 13. Push it the rest of the way on, hopefully. Boom. Ooh. All right, so I rubbed the O-rings down with a little bit of ATF. Let's see if they can wiggle everything into place. Got that gasket on already. Let's see if I can use this cap to push it down. I think I can. It looks like that's what those tabs are there for. You know, we tighten these screws down evenly. Pray for the best. <laughs> I think that worked. Injectors are in. Okay, now that I got the injectors pressed in the place, we're gonna put that regulator in. Magical Four Hands my whole life. I've never seen that movie. Never had a reason to see it. <laughs> oh, so you know what it is. You know. Make sure that's tight. Don't want to leak. All right. Well, it's the next morning. Sorry about that. Uh, phone died. And, but it died right at the end, right at the right time, so it's okay. Uh, I got it together. 
and I had to do some finagling after I got it on, actually. I had to take this thing back apart like two or three times. As you can come out here in the sun. Um, but the regulator hole or didn't line up with the hole that I made and you can see that I had to elongate that hole over to the left almost right up against you know the body there where the adapter screws into and then I had to undo the regulator or un I had to loosen the regulator and shove it over to the right all the way to the right of you know their bolt holes as far as it could go just turned them a couple turns loose pushed it over it actually moved quite a bit so tightened it back up and everything I can actually get to the screw now and I did find something new for the adapter it is not nearly as long now or for the pressure gauge I did have these two pieces because that's all they had at the other store, the first store I went to. And it made it way too long, it was goofy. So I went to Ace Hardware and found in one piece what these two pieces did went from quarter inch to eighth inch NPT. And that's what this does. And it's not tight yet, so it'll still go down a couple more threads. But that's a lot cleaner. I'm, I'm okay with that. I can live with that. It's not super ghetto with these unnecessary amount of pieces. What's next, you ask? I guess it's putting it on, right? Well, I think that'll work. I just got to go to the store and get that gasket for the idle air control valve. Okay, so what do you know? The throttle body kit came with a new gasket. Let's get this guy back on. Need to find a plug to plug this guy up. But I'll do that. Let's see if I can read any fuel pressure. Well, that's a leak. Turn it back on. Still not leaking. We got 10 pounds. Let's see if we can start it. Okay, well, it's not leaking, but the fuel pressure is high. So. I'm gonna see if I can adjust it. I'm not sure which way it would go. Well, good morning, guys. It's the next morning. Sure. Well, it says it's about 11 when you just turn the key on. 
Uh, the reason it was so choppy when I started it up last night was uh, didn't have the map sensor vacuum line hooked up at first and then once I found that I didn't it was still idling high it was the idler control valve wasn't pushed in all the way the plug wasn't pushed in all the way but uh, started up for you guys That thing went out of adjustment. All right, first thing I want to do is take off the top half of this. Yeah, see this brand new rubber. When I just looked at it, this was kind of like this, like it was being pulled inward. And it looks like it might have just stretched overnight. All right, I turned it all the way down and it's a little over 12 as you can see there, maybe. right where it's at. And yeah, that's cool. My frame rate is showing the injector spray hell slow. <laughs> I assure you they're spraying perfect. The cone, oh man it looks good. It looks like cleaning those injectors worked out. Well, she sounds good, running good. And you know what I noticed too, is I don't think that valve is working. It's not opening up like it should. You know, and I tested it too with uh, a lighter. But now that one's closed back up actually. That's funny. Interesting. This one was open a minute ago, and now that the idle has gone down and it's gone up to temp, that is closed back down. I've never sat here and watched that happen before. I've always had the everything installed right there. Um, and I should hook that back up, but it's so dang cold outside uh, right now that it doesn't really matter and I will I want to get new tubes that's why I haven't hooked it up I feel like if I hook up the old stuff then I'll never get the new stuff put in so uh, 
and the temperature brings up my next point is that once this thing starts warming up see if I can zoom in where are we at oh we're above 12 now that's about where I adjusted it that's not bad it seems like it does it doesn't always stay exactly where I set it but it's only been I don't know today so but it sounds good Let's see if I can get you to hear the exhaust I don't do it too fast it stays steady but if I really flick that throttle like that then the, the pressure will drop pretty fast the pump doesn't quite keep up with the fast flicking and that's actually good to know you know that's one of the reasons that I wanted to put it in is because I wanted to monitor that I wanted to know what it was doing and so now I know that you know I'm not gonna Sit there and do those flicks with my foot as much pretty more i'll probably ease on the throttle i'll learn how to drive my truck all differently and it's, i'm glad i did it still i'm absolutely 100 percent happy i've got that spacer in there with the 350 injectors i mean i don't know what gets the most credit for all of this but this thing is fun now it's definitely fun uh, it's just got a ton of throttle response. It's not like I gained a shit ton of horsepower. Um, but it just seems like it's healthier. And I think that's going to do it, so... Um, that's pretty much the end of this build. I am going to do... Uh, I'm adding the spacer to it and I'll have to cut a hole in the hood for that but that'll be another video alright guys thanks for watching see you later